This cheap and ugly foam airplane is the result of many ideas and inspirations over a period of time. Many years ago, my friend Floyd Richards designed this slow-flying plane that originally was designed to fly indoors. Flying RC indoors was rather new at the time. And we took the plane outside on still evenings and it flew really well. It was so easy to fly because it was so slow. My next batch of ideas came when I went to UW Stout to observe the Steps for Girls program. As part of this one week camp, the girls built a radio control sailplane made out of foam that was done in a manufacturing process. The idea was to get them interested hands-on in science. A clever idea I saw there was they put the radio equipment in a pod and then they could switch this radio equipment between many airplanes. They also had a glow engine that they attached to the airplanes and switched between airplanes. Problem was that uh, the girls didn't have a complete airplane with RC to take home, so they switched to an airboat with cheap RC the next year. Another issue is they had to have experienced RC pilots to help with the flying. So when I went home, I got this idea, build a cheap foam plane, electric power, and have all the RC and the electric propulsion part all in a pod that would be easily switched out. Using foam that you would find in a lumber supply store, I built this plane that had a large wing area and flew really slow like Floyd Richards' plane had. So here you see me demonstrating at the local university, Winona State University, to some composite engineering students and I easily flew it in their gym. So I flew the plane some outdoors, and then it sat in my basement for years. Recently, I'd been volunteering at a local charter school, and I got this idea with buddy box system, I could uh, have the kids flying this slow flying airplane. I had a nice uh, calm day for the flying event, which definitely makes it easier. It's not the best plane to fly in wind if you don't have experience. I spray painted the uh, wing of the plane some wild colors to make it easier to see. I put a larger battery in the plane so it could fly like 20 minutes on a charge. And then I had this idea I'd put my run cam camera on the plane and do some aerial video. So here's a video segment where I had the camera facing forward and I flew it again with it facing rearward. I also took video from the drone and from the ground. In the future I want to get the camera way out front so we don't have to look at the battery and the remote ID blocking the view. And I hope I get the chance future to try to train more students because I think this is a really easy to fly plane. Originally I had ideas where this could be made like the steps planes where you could uh, students could make their own plane and then share the RC but uh, never got the opportunity to do that yet. Well thanks for watching the video.